Here's who stood out on day 18 of 49ers training camp. The good, defensive tackle Javon Hargrave. He may not be in peak condition yet, but he still has the first step quickness that makes him elite, and he never rushes directly into an offensive lineman's chest. He always works at edge of the lineman's body, which means even when Hargrave gets blocked, he doesn't stay blocked for long. And that's why he won almost all of his reps during one-on-ones today and recorded a sack during 11-on-11s. Defensive tackle Kalia Davis. He beat starting center Jake Brendel during one-on-ones. Like Hargrave, Davis keeps his pads low and always attacks an edge rather than the center of a blocker's body. He might be the 49ers' best backup defensive tackle. Defensive tackle Javon Hargrave. He doesn't always keep his pads low or work an edge, but he does bat down passes, and today he nearly picked off Brock Purdy, but tipped the ball to himself and dropped it. After the play, Kinlaw did 10 push-ups on the field to punish himself for botching the interception. Defensive tackle, Drake Jackson. Yes, defensive tackle. That's the position where he rushes the quarterback the best. As an edge rusher, he rarely wins, but as an interior rusher, he's extremely quick and difficult to block. Think Arden Key. The 49ers may have found a home for Jackson inside. Defensive end, Cleland Farrell. He clearly is the second best defensive end on the roster after Nick Bosa, which is not a good thing because Farrell isn't as good as Samson Ebukam, last year's starter, or Charles Amenehu, last year's backup. Defensive tackle, Deshaun Jameson. He broke up a deep pass from Sam Darnold that was intended for Debo Samuel. Jamison probably is the 49ers' best backup cornerback. He should make the team even though he's an undrafted rookie free agent. Cornerback Trey Swilling. He intercepted a long pass from Darnold that was intended for Ronnie Bell near the left sideline. Bell ran a comeback route, Swilling jumped it, and made a diving interception. Tight end Cameron Latu. He actually caught a pass for a change, which is impressive for him. But then he dropped a pass a few minutes later. Baby steps. Right tackle Leroy Watson. He got punched in the face mask by LaDainian Hamilton and didn't punch him back. He simply laughed at him and the laugh was maniacal. He sounded like a villain in a superhero movie. It was the coolest response to getting punched I've ever seen. Hamilton must feel so impotent. The not so good. Head coach Kyle Shanahan. Before practice, He said Sam Darnold and Trey Lance would take turns being the number two quarterback this season, which means Shanahan doesn't want to make a decision. Then during practice, two fights broke out, one between Jordan Mason and Diamador Lenore and one between Leroy Watson and Ladarius Hamilton, and Shanahan just stood and watched. He kicked no one out of practice. Didn't even raise his voice. When it comes to anything other than calling plays, Shanahan simply isn't interested. Left tackle Jalen Moore the 49ers backup offensive tackle couldn't block Cleland Farrell during one-on-one pass rush drills. Moore is a guard, but on the 49ers, he plays tackle out of necessity. Guard slash center, John Feliciano. He got beaten during one-on-ones by LaDainian Hamilton, who probably won't make the team. Which means Feliciano shouldn't make the team either, but he will because he's their best backup interior offensive lineman. If he ever has to play, the 49ers are in trouble. Left guard Aaron Banks. He limped off the field and left practice early. It's unclear why, but he did miss a week of camp with a concussion. And if he has to miss any time, the next man up will be Feliciano. Not good. Running back Ty Davis Price. He dropped a screen pass that hit him in both hands, which means he can't catch or block. And he's averaging only 3.9 yards per carry in the preseason. So it's unclear what exactly he does well. Nick Bosa. It's August 22nd, 2023, and Bosa still hasn't signed his extension with the 49ers.